Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to St. Colm Kills and welcome to our first communion celebration. There's a few housekeeping matters to note before Holy Mass begins. Please do not move out of your seat to take photos and professional photos will be taken throughout. First communicant should come forward individually to Father Bernard to receive communion. The rest of the congregation should remain seated at this point. If you wish to receive communion, please come forward when invited. If you wish to receive a blessing when you come forward, please place your hands across your chest. There will be an offertory collection and a card machines available at the back of the church for anyone who wishes to an opportunity to contribute to support the upkeep of the church. Finally, at the end of Mass, please follow the direction of the stewards. Thank you.
the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. I'd like to invite our school captain who's going to come forward now and give the introduction to today's Holy Mass. Please be seated. We would like to welcome the St. Colm Kills Church as the boys and girls receive Holy Communion for the first time. This is an extremely special day and we are looking forward to sharing it with them. Our journey in faith never comes to an end and today is an important part in this spiritual journey. As we are united in the sacrament of the Eucharist, we can look back, reflect and celebrate together, supported by prayers and the goodwill of the Fernhill family and our own friends and family. Well, this truly is the day that the Lord has made. We rejoice and are glad. And we gather here on a very special feast day in the life of the church, the feast day of St. Matthias. And St. Matthias was an apostle who heard the voice of the Lord Jesus to the summons that we heard in the opening hymn, Come and Follow Me. Matthias' name was called and he followed the Lord Jesus. And that's our prayer for each of you gathered here today in this very special day that the Lord Jesus will call your name and invite you to such great intimacy with him the greatest gift that you can ever be given the Lord Jesus in the Holy Eucharist and we are delighted to be joined here today with your friends to support you with your family your teachers those that love you this is such a very special day the gift of Jesus himself. To prepare our hearts and minds to celebrate this most special day, I'm going to invite you all now to stand and call to mind your own sins and frailty and seek the Lord's pardon, forgiveness and mercy. Lord Jesus, for all of those times where we have used unkind words, Lord have mercy. Lord Jesus, for those times where we have been disobedient, Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, for all of those times we have, where we have failed to recognize you in our midst, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you. We adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, glory to God, Glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of 
of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand, the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good Let us pray. O God, who assigned St. Matthias a place in the College of the Apostles, grant us through his intercession that rejoicing at how your love has been allotted to us, we may merit to be numbered among the elect. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. I'd like to invite Patrick, who's going to come forward now for the first reading. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. For this reason, ever since I heard about your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and your love for all the saints, I have not stopped giving thanks for you. Remembering you in my prayers, I keep asking that the God of our Lord, Jesus Christ, the glorious Father, may give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation so that you may know him better. I pray also that the eyes of your heart may be enlightened in order that you may know the hope to which he has called you, the riches of its glorious inheritance in the saints and its incomparably great power for us who believe. That power is like the working of his mighty strength which he exerted in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at, the, at his right hand in the heavenly realms, far above all rule and authority, power and dominion, and every title that can be given, not only in the present age, but also in the one to come. In God placed all things under his feet and appointed him to be head over everything in the church, which is his body, the fullness of him who fills everything in every way. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Alleluia, Alleluia. Let the message of Christ in all its richness find a home with you. Through him give thanks to God the Father. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this, so that my own joy may be in you and your joy may be complete. This is my commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. A man can have no greater love than to lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I shall not call you servants any more, because a servant does not know his master's business. I call you friends, because I have made known to you everything I have learnt from my father. You did not choose me, no, I chose you, and I commissioned you to go out and to bear fruit, fruit that will last, and then the Father will give you everything you ask him in my name. What I command you is to love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated for a moment. This is when the mums and dads start to get a bit nervous because they think I'm going to start asking them questions. Do you think they're nervous? Yeah, they should be. I'm going to come over to you because today is all about the young people today sitting here at the front of the church. This is the day, as I said at the beginning, that the Lord has made we rejoice and are glad. As I said at the beginning of Holy Mass, boys and girls, today is the feast of Saint Matthias. He was an apostle that was chosen to follow the Lord Jesus in a very particular way. And the Catholic Church throughout the whole world today, here's the gospel, here's the readings that we've had at this Mass this morning, that great message of love, that love and that intimacy that each of you are called to, to hear the Lord calling each and every one of you today. You are my friend, Jesus says to you, and he wants to give you the greatest gift, the gift of himself. Such a beautiful, beautiful day to come here to celebrate this great relationship and this great journey that you're about to embark upon. I've got a few questions for you. Got your thinking caps on? Put them on. Put them on. Okay. See if we can remember. This here is called a ciborium and it's used to hold the Blessed Sacrament. And this ciborium I've had recently restored is 175 years old, probably about the same age as your gran and granddad's. It's so beautiful and so precious. How about you look at it? Miles, what do you think? What do you, what do you reckon it's valued at? Any ideas? I'm joking. What's it made of? Who can tell me what's it, what, what's, it, what's it made of? Warren? It's made of gold. It's made of gold. It's so very, very precious. It's made of gold. 
And what do we put inside here? What do we put inside here? What do we put inside here? Yes. The blessed Eucharist. The Eucharist. It's so, so precious. In a few moments, the boys and girls that are sitting here will come forward. And what will you receive? Tell us again. Yes. The blessed Eucharist. But are you, what are you made of? Tell me some of the things that you are made of. What are you made of? Blood. Blood, what else? Skin, yes, what else? Flesh, yep. Bones, all of these things. Have you got anything to add? Pardon? Yes, absolutely. All of these things that help make up the human body. But are you made of gold? Are you made of gold? You're not made of gold, are you? This here is made of gold because it's the most precious gift that we have. And we put Jesus in here and we put him in the tabernacle after Mass if there's any of the Blessed Sacrament left over reserved for the sick and for the next time we celebrate the Eucharist. But you're not made of gold and yet Jesus wants to come to you. We commit sins, don't we? They came for confession yesterday. They were in for hours. Hours. We commit sins and we make mistakes, don't we? We do, we do. And Jesus, despite that, despite that great difficulty, still wants to come to us and wants to help us on our journey through life. So today is the start of the most beautiful journey with Jesus. And my great friend, Pope Benedict XVI, once said, the happiness that you have a right to enjoy has a name and a face. He is Jesus of Nazareth, hidden in the Eucharist. He's always waiting for us. Jesus has longed for this day in a very, very particular way where he wants to come to you in Holy Communion. Such a beautiful, beautiful gift in the start of such a beautiful journey. And today is your first communion, but you're called to receive communion every single Sunday so that we remember that great relationship and that great friendship that we have with Jesus to help us in our lives. Put your hand up if you've got a friend. All of you have got friends. Now tell me, what happens if you don't speak to your friend? What happens? You're not friends. You're not friends. It's hard. It's hard. I was astonished visiting this class three weeks ago and we spoke about this. It was quite amazing. I nearly invited the boy that said it to take the class because I was blown away of what he said. He said, when I fall out with my friend, it's hard to make up, but Jesus' friendship knows no end. Do you remember who said that in the class? I remember who it was. Now, how beautiful is that? How beautiful is that? Jesus loves us unconditionally. And he wants each of you to receive him as often as possible to remind you of that beautiful friendship and to give you all the help that you need to be little saints in Fernhill School and then little saints when you're big boys and big girls and maybe get married. Mm, don't do it. To be friends with Jesus no matter where you go in life. Some of you might grow up to be footballers. Some of you might grow up to be doctors, some nurses, some lawyers, some teachers. And that great friendship with Jesus will carry you throughout your whole life. And that's what we come to do here the very first time in a very special way with your friends and your family to witness such a beautiful occasion. So let's pray now and invite each of you to stand. I'd like to invite the young people to lead us in the bidding prayers to please come forward.
We pray for our school chaplain, Father Murnian, our Bishop Joseph Toll, and all who have de dedicated themselves to God. May they continue to lead our Christian communities supported by the love of Jesus. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for the families of Fern Health School that they may continue through their prayers to support the growth and development of our pupils on their Christian journey. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for God's children that these sons and daughters of God who are to receive their first Holy Communion today may give witness to Christ by lives built on faith and love. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray especially for close family members who are with God in heaven. May they remain close to us today and always. We pray also for peace in our hearts, peace in our families, and peace in our world. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. I'd like to offer a special prayer for Mrs. Ferry, who has prepared the young people especially for their first Holy Communion, and also to your classmates who are non-Catholic that have supported you so very much and are here um, today in St. Column Kills for this very special Mass. I'm so delighted that you're with us today looking so well in your uniform and in your fancy dress this day. And we take a moment to turn to Mary, our Blessed Mother, our great advocate, the patroness of your school. We ask our Blessed Mother to guide each of you as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Lord our God, you have heard the prayers of your children this day. Grant them, for we make them in your name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for the offertory.
please stand. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Lord, accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all of his holy church. Receive, O Lord, the offerings of your church, reverently presented on the feast of St. Matthias, and through them strengthen us by the power of your grace, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you, eternal shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles, watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. indeed holy O Lord the font of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, 
together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. come to the reception of Holy Communion. I'll come down to the front of the, the altar and give you each Holy Communion now individually.
This is my commandment, love one another as I have loved you, says the Lord. I'd like to invite Primary Four now to come forward for their hymn of thanksgiving. That was really beautiful. There wasn't a dry eye in the house. Very beautiful. I invite you all now to stand. Let us pray. Never cease, O Lord, we pray, to fill your family with divine gifts, and through blessed Matthias' intercession for us, graciously admit us to a share in the lot of the saints in light, through Christ our Lord. Well, I wish you all a wonderful um, day.
I'm sure you all have um, wonderful plans um, now to celebrate and to mark this very momentous um, occasion. You're very welcome um, to take photographs um, after um, Mass in our grounds. There's a little wooden um, plank. I called it a bridge once, but I mean, that was really pushing it. Um, there's a little wooden plank to take you over into um, the, the, the lawn area, um, and it makes for lovely photographs uh, with the church um, in the background, or if you wish to come back into the church uh, for photographs with your family um, and friends, you're very welcome um, to do so. Now, I know many of you um, go to different um, parishes, but St. Colum Kills is the best parish in Scotland, and we have five weekend masses more than any other church um, in Scotland, so there's lots of choice. But the family mass is at 10.30, and you're very welcome in a particular way um, to come to that. We have the children's liturgy um, at that mass, but there's also mass on a Saturday evening at 4, 9, 10.30, 12 noon on a Sunday, and also um, at 4 o'clock. And after the morning masses, there's rolls and sausage and bacon and homemade cakes in the hall afterwards. So you can't lose. It's a wonderful uh, parish community um, here with a lot going on. So you're very, very welcome to come here at any time. And that goes for your friends and family that join you here for this very special um, occasion today. So many people um, to thank, but especially your parents for preparing you and bringing you to this very special moment and your grannies and your granddads and all those people that look after you and love you and of course um, to the teaching staff Mrs Ferry and Mrs Campbell and of course Mr Donnelly um, and all of the people at Fernhill School that have prepared you for this very very special moment I wish you a wonderful day um, ahead I remember my own first communion as though it was yesterday and I haven't really grown very much I have a little less hair, um, but it was such a, a wonderful occasion. It's a day that you will remember uh, for the rest of your life. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in the peace of Christ. <laughs>